What is surface preparation? Surface preparation refers to a various method that can be used to treat the surface of a material prior to coating application, the use of adhesives and other procedures. Surface preparation is essential for treating steels and other substrates before they are painted, coated or lined. Surface preparation can be done either chemically or mechanically to clear the surface of pre-existing coating, residue, surface inverse functions, organic matters, oxidation and other contaminants. Various surface preparation techniques are used to prepare surface materials such as aluminum, concrete, plastic, steel and other alloys. While there are different methods of surface preparation for different materials and applications, they tend to follow some set stages. stages. What are the stages? There are several general stages that are followed to successfully prepare the surface for addition, coating, welding or other procedures. These include 1. Surface Condition Assessment Before any preparation can begin, it's important to assess the condition of the surface. Standard can assist with this assessment, such as BS EN ISO 8501-1, which provide details of rust grades ranging from A to D for steel surfaces. These grades may help determine if surf surface preparation will be successful and what techniques are going to be used. Surface profilometry may also be benef beneficial to identify if the existing surface can provide the required mechanical key for subsequent processing steps. Although, in most cases, some form of surface preparation will generally be required. 2. Remove old coatings. Surface generally require any old coating to be removed before a new coating is applied. Applying a new coating over an old, failed coating will also allow pre-existing problem like bubbling, flaking or peeling to continue beneath the covering layer. Stripping coating back until there is a clean surfaces such as white metal will help to mitigate the problem like corrosion and lengthen acid lifespan. 3. Remove oil, chlorides, acids and other surface contaminants. Old coatings are not the only substance that will need to be removed from the material surfaces. Many surfaces in industrial settings come into contact with oil, grease and other lubricants, all of which need to be removed so as not to compromise the bond strength between the substrates and new coating. Chloride can also accumulate on the material surfaces as they travel through the air. This is particularly prevalent near the sea or other marine environments. Chlorides can cause rate of oxidation in metal to increase, meaning that corrosion damage will occur soon. This is also known as chloride-induced corrosion. Because these types of surface contaminants can be invisible to the naked eye, testing may be required to determine their presence. 4. Remove loose parts of the surfaces. The surface of the material itself will also need to cleaning of any loose parts that may flake or crumble. This can be achieved by techniques such as abrasive blasting, which will efficiently remove rust, mill scale, and other loose parts from the surface of the substrate. 5. Profile the surface. Once any loose materials and other substances have been cleaned from the surface, it's important to profile the surface itself. New coatings may require a new surface profile than the original coatings. A correct profile surface tailed to the coating process material will offer improved adhesion and mechanical bonding. 6. Dry the surfaces. Coating work best with the surfaces that are dry. Wet surface may cause wing holes to develop during the curing process as moisture evaporates from the between the surfaces and the coating, forming small holes. Although some coatings use a second layer to cover these wing holes, moisture can also negatively impact drying times. Flash corrosion can also occur where moisture is present on the bare metal surfaces. This corrosion can continue beneath the surface of newly applied coating. Humidity can also be the factor, so it's worth checking whether a coating can be applied at the environment's humidity level. The requirements are usually documented in the relevant coating and application standards. Following these six general rules will improve the chances of successfully applying a coating 
using an adhesive or creating a good welt.